Whether you need them for therapists or you're looking to just make a bit of money on the side, today we're going to be talking about gas analyzers and the best places to find them. You can also sell these for a fair bit of money, so stick around and hopefully this guide helps you. So I could have chosen a lot of maps to start off here today, but we're going to jump straight into Interchange. And the reason I say Interchange is because there's a lot of things that Interchange has that just make it the best map for this item. The first thing that it has is this store called Ollie. This green massive supermarket has a lot of great things on offer. From every single level on these shelves all along the front and towards the back, from things like corrugated hose and many other good things like propane, they also have a rare chance to spawn gas analyzers, those things that you are looking for. So when coming through here, whether you're doing a scav run or if you're simply spawning around this area, if you check these shelves very briefly, you can run a good chance to find gas analyzers. And once again, these are going to be worth a lot of money. So if you happen to walk out of raid with one, you can sell them on the flea market for a fair premium. But guys, once you finish checking out this area, the beautiful part about this store is how close it is to all the other stores. So we're going to head away from Ollie now after we've checked the back back shelves and we're going to go to a few tech stores. So the first store you're going to be seeing on the left hand side here is Techno or some people call it Texo. Now excuse my Russian but we're going to be running past that store for now and we're going to Rasmussen. Now Rasmussen is one of the best tech stores in Interchange for a few good reasons. I believe that it has some of the best spawns for gas analyzers, period. You can find them on the desk here and also on the opposing shelves on both sides. There are two different layers that can spawn tech and in the middle and also on the ground, there are plenty of different spots along here. This is a great spot for things like lenses for your hideout and many other things, but mainly like what you're here for, gas analyzers. And you're also going to notice that along the way, I also saw a few things like Tetris. Now these are worth a mint because they trade for a Bitcoin. So when doing runs like these, you can find your gas analyzers and make a bit of coin on the side. Some things like graphics cards will spawn standing up in there as well. But let's jump straight into Texo or Techno. Now Texo is a great store. The reason I love Texo is because I find it's really reliable for a good things like G phone, wires, capacitors, and many other tech items. Name anything that comes out of a computer, all you need for your hideout, it'll probably be here. So when coming along here, make sure you check all the gaps between each box on the opposing shelves and any sort of open space. But what makes this so great is you can actually pop up to the second floor while you're here. And you're going to go running into a store here called Techlight. Now Techlight is a great store because it has a few awesome spawns. The first one's going to be fuel conditioner behind this generator and plenty of other great spawns like an AK. But what you're here for is gas analyzers. And this store is usually the one that gives them to me. So when coming along here, make sure you check the highest shelves and if you're unsure whether you can see something or you feel like you might have walked past something, make sure to do a jump check. That's what I like to do in case you're missing things like CPU and a lot of items can be very inconspicuous, especially flat items like a Tetris can fit into the mold of the shelf. So make sure you pay extra attention. Now opposite here is a dark tech store and on each of these pedestals, you actually have a chance for a graphics card a graphics cards are worth a lot of good money, but you can also find gas analyzers on there as well. But we're going to go straight down the middle of the store and towards a store here called German. Now German is a great tech store. It's complete darkness, so it's usually pretty safe. But the problem is, guys, Killer likes to hang around this area. So don't go darting down straight like the middle like I did. In an online raid, make sure you wrap, wrap around safely. We're jumping into TTS, a very overlooked store and a lot of people don't really talk about this store. But the truth is TTS has some of the best loot in the game. So people are sleeping on it and I don't understand why. There's a lot of shelves that I just walked past right there with some great spawns for tech. And also the back ones along here have some really good medical supplies and a duffel bag. And if you guys don't already, if you search duffel bags, you also have a rare chance to find gas analyzers as well. So make sure when you're searching those areas with duffel bags to hit those especially because they have a good chance at the same time. So we're going into idea office and the first thing you'll be met with is a desk here at the front. Now make sure you check all along these desks here because there's a couple great spawns and also a duffel bag on the way in. You can also check these computers along the way for the front of them for secure flash drives and obviously many others. But this back storage part of idea office is where things get juicy. 
These shelves in the back actually have a great chance for gas analyzers. So when looking around this area, make sure to check every single available gap between the boxes because it's very easy to walk past them. You can find them very inconspicuously laying down on the ground. So make sure to come through here and check it as often as you can.